Number 14. If the spring constant of a simple harmonic oscillator is doubled, by what factor will the mass of the system need to be changed in order for the frequency of the motion to remain the same? All right. So basically, um, they're talking about, right, there's a couple of variables. They're talking about spring constant, which is K. They're talking about the mass, right, and they're talking about the frequency, all right? And they're also talking about this whole thing is describing a simple harmonic oscillator. Now, there's a formula here that deals with some of these variables. It's right over here, all right? It's the period will be equal to 2 pi multiplied by the square root of the mass of the object that's oscillating divided by the spring constant, all right? So the period of oscillation t is equal to 2 pi multiplied by the square root of the mass that's oscillating divided by the spring constant of the spring that's producing the oscillation. So basically now, we they're telling us that the spring constant is going to be doubled. So let me highlight it. Here's the spring constant, and it's going up by a factor of 2, right? So this whole thing is going to be increasing by a factor of 2. Now they want to know what must happen to the mass here, right? What, what must happen to the mass now so that the frequency doesn't change? And now you might be saying, well, wait a minute, I don't know. Where's the frequency here? Well, we know that frequency is just the inverse of um, the period, right? So what that means is that basically if the period doesn't change, then the frequency won't change as well. All right, so we don't, I'm not really going to do any substitutions uh, of any sort. Just note that if T doesn't change, F doesn't change. So then uh, basically what I can, I can reframe the question instead of saying, uh, in order for the frequency of the motion to remain the same, in order for the period to remain the same, that would be the same thing. Same, 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 same. Okay. So what must I do, again, if K goes up by a factor of two, what must happen to the mass in order for the period here, T, not to change at all? Well, it would also have to go up by a factor of two, right? Doesn't that kind of make mathematical sense? Let me ask you a question. Pretend you have a simple fraction. Let's do something like 10 over two, all right? Obviously, the answer is five, okay? If you double the denominator, make it four, what must you do to the numerator in order for this answer to come out to be five again? Well, you'd have to double it as well, right? If you put in 20 here, it's 20 over four is five, you see? So if I double the denominator, I better double the numerator in order for the ratio to remain the same. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope that helped. Please remember to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care.